Hello guys and welcome back to another PSP video here on So That's Gaming. I'm Laramus. Today we're going to be checking out the PS or SD to Vita adapter. And this will allow you to use a micro SD card in this adapter and goes into the game slot on your PS Vita. This is a much better alternative uh, over the traditional PlayStation or Sony branded M2 uh, memory cards because, well, they're really expensive, uh, way overpriced. Uh, I'm not the only one who thinks so. Um, example, you can get like a 64 gigabyte card and cost you over 150 bucks on Amazon, whereas a micro SD card is much cheaper. So this is a much more cost effective storage solution. So let's go ahead and we got some some stuff that we have to do first. Oops, let's see. Alright, first we have to go and load up Vita Shell. And we gotta put it into FTP mode. We have a few files we need to copy over. I have included in the description um, uh, two different files. One where you can use uh, it's a, they're both drivers. One's if you want to mount the adapter as UMA0 or another one is to mount it as UX0. So I am going to want to go ahead and mount it as UX0. So there we go. We have our FTP mode. Let's go on over here to the computer. I'm going to mount that. Alright. So we'll also need a couple other things as well. Um, there's a ZZ blank image file. Um, I'm not really sure why this is a requirement, but they say it's recommended, so I have that. We're going to use the Win32 Disk Imager in order to write that to our SD card that we're going to use. And then we're going to just turn around and format it. So first things first, as I'm going to be using the UXO driver, I'm going to go ahead and download, copy that to my URO, this is the system memory, because if you mount a UXO and then it switches, it won't know where it's at. So URO is the system storage on your Vita. And we're gonna need that driver to go into the tie folder. So UX0 driver over here. That's done with that. So we're done with the FTP portion. We'll have to edit some files in here later. But first, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make sure we know which drive this is here. Uh, where is it at? There it is. There's my memory card. It's drive I. So, disk imager. There it is. Alright, we're going to go ahead and... Everything's moving around on me. Alright, we're gonna write this image file here. I can't drag it. Well, that's a bit. <laughs> Desktop SD. There we are. We're gonna mount that to I. Right. Right, successful. Alright, so now you'll notice that I is no longer available. It's it doesn't show anything so they say to best thing you do is to go ahead and remove it and reinstall it and Windows should prompt you that that just needs to be formatted so we're going to format that this next part is very important XFAT allocation size we use the default allocation size volume label leave this blank I'm not entirely sure why I was everything I read and everything I've Seen suggests that this needs to be left blank and quick formats fine. We're going to start, okay, and the format's complete. Now, I have already made a backup of my UX0 drive, so I'm just going to go ahead and restore that directly here. This is just going to take a quick moment while I copy this over. Alright, what's this? How did I... Alright. 
now that those are all copied over, just to make sure that uh, this is the going to be the SD card. I'm going to go ahead and create a new text file. I'm not going to write anything. I'm just going to call it SD card. So that that file should show up. So there we go ahead and inject that. Go back over to the Vita. Put in our adapter, and now we have some editing to do in the software. So first thing we need to do, get out of here, and we're going to navigate to UR0. We're going to go down to our tie folder. And you'll see that one with the kick fig file. We're going to select Yours might look different. It needs to be under uh, asterisk kernel. And to add a line, you just click the left or the right arrow, uh, add a line, and edit that. And this is needs to be lowercase u r zero colon t a i forward slash Where'd he go? <laughs> oh. Um, game SD dot SK. Oops. SK PRX. And there we go. So, oh, I have the wrong button here. Let me go back. Zero colon. All right, there we go. UR zero tie forward slash game SD dot SKPRX. All right. Now I'll insert that line right there. That won't take effect until we reboot the system. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and hit circle and save our modification. Go ahead and power off our device. I figured this is the easiest way to go ahead and do it. I'm going to insert my game card right quick with my SD card in it. There we are. And if all went according to plan, Our SD card should now be mounted as UX0. Yes, I did. Turn it on. There we are. Alright, we're going to back up. We're going to go back down to Vita Shell just to confirm. UX0. Alright, sorry about that. I ran into a, a little bit of an error. Um, but yeah, if you follow all these steps, that you should have no problem. I did have one issue trying to get Vita Shell to load back up. Um, I had to re-edit. I forget what I forgot to do. Here, I'll show you. Okay, after I was back in the Vita shell, um, UMA0 wasn't showing up. So after I had to go back to the UXO, the original UXO, and I'll show you down here, there's the SD card dot text I showed you earlier. Um, just to prevent the UXO from loading, delete the config file from the original TIE folder. I'll show you up here. This was my memory card, UMA0. <clears throat> if I go to the tie folder, notice the config is missing because I deleted it to prevent it from trying to load it and overriding what I had put on UR0. So, exit in that, and I rebooted the system and it started, it showed UX0. 
but UMA0 wasn't showing up yet. I couldn't get Vita Shell to launch. What I had to do, if you long press any of your icons, the little bubble on the side, I chose to delete it and uninstalled it, and I used Molecular Shell to, re to reload the VPK from my VPK folder and reinstalled Vita Shell. After doing that, it worked fine, and here we are. So, now, Molecular Shell wasn't designed to show UMA0, but you can see right here, as UX0, it's the SD card, 119 gigabytes available. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Um, like I said before, download links will also be in the description. If you haven't already done so, be sure to click that subscribe button. Get subscribed and keep coming back here for more gaming videos. Uh, they've just got a couple more projects left here on the PSP, then we'll be moving on to the PS3 and then to the Wii U. So stay tuned for those, and we'll see you in a future video.